Please. I'm Austin Lee Walwood, I play bass. Skyler Freeman, play rhythm, guitar, piano, and backup vocals. I'm Keith, uh, I bang garbage cans and like to eat burgers. Ah! That works. Uh, something Austin, or uh, I'm sorry, Skyler forgot is he's a very big advocate of turkey bacon. I just thought I would point that out. Um, I am uh, I'm Benjamin Hyatt, and uh, I write the lyrics, and uh, I do a little bit of singing, and um, and I write the, the melodies, and apparently I, well, I dive down stairways. Um, and yeah, I think you'll ask that question later, but I'll explain it. I'm Alex Freeman, and uh, I just like to bang on stuff, so, you know. Such a drummer. <laughs> That works. That works. And you actually have both your parents here, so, you know, we will get into the what instruments do you play, how long you've been playing. The easiest question I can ask is how the band got its name. I think we can probably, like, skip right over that because it kind of happened at birth for you and just kind of went down those same stairs from there. Okay, go ahead. And so, um, it was Benjamin Hyatt, um, but and then when we put the whole band together, we uh, we talked to the record company about changing the name, and um, they they liked the last name. I don't know if it has something to do with the fact that it already sounds famous with the Hyatt Hotel, or whatever. Which you know, me and uh, Paris Hilton, we hang out none of the time. Um, but anyway, um, so yeah, the record company wanted to keep it as Benjamin Hyatt, and uh, everybody agreed to it, and there it is. Very very cool. Yes. Actually, Ben was lying about one thing. We had one other choice for the band name, and that was Fluffy White Kittens on Clouds of Marshmallows. But pe people just thought it was a little too heavy, so... It just wouldn't have been on the CD as well. But you're talking to somebody who had a dog named Fluffy Waddlebutt, so I'm totally down with that name. Absolutely, totally down with that name. It just works. Totally. Anyways, we will start down with Austin. How long have you been playing? How did you get into it? What were your musical influences? Let's give you a whole bunch of stuff to think about at once. Alright, so uh, my music career probably started when I was maybe uh, six years old and my parents bought me a little uh, you know, tape recorder type thing and I was used to recording the tapes, myself singing and all that good stuff, you know, the walkie talkies and you know, sing you know, singing myself recorded and play back and back and back. Um, I was lucky that when I was ten years or eight years old I moved next to Jason Newstead, the uh, ex bass player in Metallica who uh, joined Ozzy and all that. So I moved in next to him and uh, by the time I was about 14, he started teaching me how to play bass and kind of transitioned me over to bass from guitar. And uh, from there, I just kept jamming and jamming. I was in a bunch of bands in high school and um, 
Pimp Nasty, that Gucci Pimp, and Stinky Chicken, and all right Ball, and then we're good. <laughs> Yeah. Um, well, I play. I play. Uh, I've actually been playing guitar about uh, maybe 13 years, 13, 14 years. Uh, drums for about 16 this this many. Like 16 years or so, and uh, yeah, bass for about one year. Uh, singing, I don't know how long, but I basically got in music just by watching him <laughs> and just watching my brother and my, my dad play music all the time. Just basically watching him and that was about it. Uh, I'm scared when I get the mic. You're scared when I get the mic? You don't know what I'll say. Once upon a time in the land of Narnia. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've been playing music since I was about uh, seven years old. I started taking piano lessons. Uh, my mom was involved with the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, so I kind of got my voice resonance. What? Yeah. Um, so I kind of got my music involvement from that. I was going to church and stuff. Um, I discovered rock and roll probably when I was like 15 years old. I heard uh, Zeppelin II on vinyl, and Jimmy Page just blew my mind. Um, since then, I've been listening to Vivaldi, Yanni, Dream Theater, Satriani, uh, basically anything that can further expound. Yeah, that's me. Very cool. Uh, Stuart, you're going to sing for us. Very nice, so many side conversations. Anyways, on to you. Come on, you and singing. Let's see, I started, when I was uh, four, I started singing. Um, and it was the whole church thing, growing up in church, you know, and um, singing in the choir. I got a scholarship in college for singing. Um, but my mom was my first influence. She was kind of a child of the 60s, and she wrote songs, barefoot and uh, guitar, that kind of thing. And uh, she wrote a song called Debate with an Angel, and it really inspired me to, uh, to write. I started writing when I was uh, 10 years old, and um, it sounded horrible at first. And uh, you just keep going with something you believe in, and eventually, uh, if it's meant for you, it turns into something. So, um, my dad, he inspired me to not sing, and then I, I went ahead and went against that, because you go against your dad, right? Um, but anyway, so, uh, my little sister also plays, and uh, we come from a musical family, so uh, my background is less uh, what all these guys said, and more like homeschooled till the eighth grade, and then I couldn't start listening to other music until I was a senior in high school. So anyway, that's where it comes from. And Alex, you're up, buddy. Alex, 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 Alex. Why, thank you, Keith. All right. Um, well, how long have I been playing? Uh, since I can, since I can remember, since I can stand. Um, I, I started off just uh, a big influence for me from the start was the Beatles. And by the time I was like five years old, I probably could play anything they ever wrote. But uh, other than that, um, I don't know, I play a little guitar, I guess. I can sit there and pick something out for you, but it probably won't be right. Um, after that, uh, big influences for me are uh, I mean, I listen to just about everything. Well, yeah, he, he's one, and he's right there, so. Props uh, to Dad. Yeah, well, definitely props to Dad, because without him, I probably would not be where I am right now. So, um, yeah. Other than that, uh, real big influences to my playing style. Um, I took a lot from Travis Barker, I took a lot from, uh, just, uh, I listen to a lot of random hardcore, so, it's, it's all just real musical, and, uh, I, I end up getting real into it, so. Okay, what? 
Do you want? Yeah, I think we should totally add them because I mean, you put them in here for it. So uh, we're we're doing the, the good story, the suit story. So Sky, take the floor. Right, one thing you guys don't know about him, yeah, he was really influenced by the Beatles. My dad told me this story about him. Oh my. About when he was younger, he, he, he watched Ringo a lot, so he, he honestly thought, like, every time he, he'd go to drum, he'd put on a suit before he did it. <laughs> he, he thought that's how, that, that's how it happened, so he did it. I thought it was funny as hell. <laughs> Okay, we might have to like break and do two recordings, whatever. Yeah, we can do that. Um, so, as for the gratuitous props, I'm good. So, anyways, gratuitous propping of the band. Next appearances you guys have, obviously, there is a CD, which we sold one of, and we really probably should sell more of. Oh, we sold two? So you definitely want to buy it. It definitely it's in the CD player in my car. It is definitely worth buying. So where can people go to buy this, and where are you guys going to be playing next, and all that other fun stuff? Let's see. Well, you can go to uh, Last FM and hear it. You can hear it on over 600 radio stations right now across the U.S. And um, you can go to iTunes and Amazon, and um, you should be able to pick it up there. You can come to the River's Edge right now. If you're listening to this in the future, wait till we play again. Um, Kevin, can you get here, buddy, right now? Seriously. You're late and you're slacking. All right, we are going to play tomorrow at uh, the Bashful Bandit, right? And we're going to play October 22nd. Where's the show October 22nd? Uh, Bashful Bandit, October 22nd. Play the Tomorrow we'll also play the Elbow Room if anybody wants to come. Sally's here, the Taco Ho. We have to totally give props to the Taco Ho. Yes, Sally will be there. And you, where's your steak? If Danny ordered it seriously, do breathe. <laughs> Happy place. We need to find that. But seriously, you guys need to come to the River's Edge because not only do we have great music like this every week, they put up with my shit every week. I mean, they have tolerance. And we've got possibly the hardest, hottest bartenders in town. Amber's back there somewhere now. Usually when I totally give her props, she walks away. We've got Ken cooking a killer steak and eggs breakfast for six bucks. I mean, you can't beat it. They've got hot bartenders, they've got Daisy Duke contests, they've got wet t-shirt contests. Every other Thursday they have pole dancing. It's kind of a fun place to be. And they have the Benjamin Maya band. So. Yes, definitely, you've got to love that. Ken, you missed it. Every time I prop your breakfast, because he walks away again. So we've got to say hi to a whole bunch of people here today. Got to say hi to Duke and Cat from the Duke and Cat show. Got to give props to my daughter, Janelle, who's running the camera and doing all the recordings. Yay, you. Got to give props to, like, moms and dads and everything, too. So definitely, Mr. Danny Freeman. Hi, Mom. Well, I want to say hi. Hi, Dad. My dad's watching this. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. Hi, everybody. It's hi, everyone. We can just do a like, you know, show was it? Everybody did that like big kiss at the end. I'm old, and you probably remember. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> That's really what I'm referencing. We're not gonna reference that. So <laughs> the only thing I can no, I'm not going to. Anyways. <laughs> Are we gonna play? You want us to play some more music now? Yes. I really Should want you to play more music. I want people to buy the CD. I want you to go to the Elbow Room and the Bandit tomorrow to go see him play. The Bandit on the 22nd to see him play. Um, wherever else, Facebook. You did not give your Facebook page. Yeah. yeah, can you uh, look up Facebook online? It's just Benjamin Hyatt. Look it up. You can find me as an individual or the band. If you add me, I will uh, I will send you the music link. B-E-N-J-A-M-I-N-H-Y-A-T-T, -T, like the hotel. And 